guys, believe it or not, there is a lot more to sex than uh, <laughs> than than you might think. You know, there are, you know, there are steps, okay? There are steps. There's a process, okay, when it comes to sex, okay? And uh, if it was as simple as, eh, then uh, <laughs> there wouldn't be so much to talk about, wouldn't there be? You know, there wouldn't be so much to talk about. There wouldn't be no IQ tests or, or topics or types of sex and, and, and stuff like that. It's, it can be a very complicated thing, you know? So with that being said, let's take the sex IQ test. Let's see. Let's let's test my knowledge about sex. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to regret doing this video, but sod it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I thought there'd be like ten questions or something like that, but I guess this is just a short IQ test. But let's just let's just do it, man. Let's just right here we go. Sex therapists normally recommend how many minutes of foreplay for a woman? Got 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If, look, if you ask me, I think 20 minutes is just long enough. Okay, it's just long enough. I'd say 20 minutes. I think 10 minutes is too short. When it comes to foreplay, that's that's like the stage where you, know, you uh, get acquainted with each other's bodies. At least that's what I think. I reckon she'll start getting bored after about 20 minutes of foreplay. So, 20 minutes. I reckon 20 minutes is just right. Now, the next question. What percentage of women have reportedly faked an orgasm? There's only two answers. Less than 50%, more than 50%. Believe it or not, <laughs> women, more than 50% of women have faked their orgasm during sex, okay? Why do they do this? In my personal opinion, I think they do it to get themselves in the mood, but I think they also tr uh, do this because they don't, I don't know, I think they don't want to make their partner feel like they're not doing anything or they don't They don't want to make their partner feel, feel like they're not like good, yo, know? but, I, yeah, I reckon more than 50% of women do fake their orgasms. That's what I believe, okay? Less than 50%? Nah. Nah. More than 50%, okay? Those are my reasons why I'm... <laughs> so that's my, that's my reason, okay? So yeah. Right, so we're going to pick more than 50% of women fake their orga orgasms. Go. What the fuck? Uh... <laughs> Okay, question three. True or false? Most women can orgasm from just vaginal intercourse. There are plenty of ways to get a woman off. Okay, there are plenty of ways to uh, get a woman off just just from not just from doing that. There's so much more to a woman and her um, delicate area than uh, than just you know putting it in and out. There's many ways. Yeah, you, know, you just gotta have the knowledge to know how. You know, it's <laughs> at least once again, like I said, that's just my personal opinion. So let's go. No way. If you can get yourself through frequently from masturbation, you should consistently get through with your partner too. That now, once again, there's only two answers. That's right. It depends, guys. Like I said, this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Sex, sex is a complicated process, okay? And I reckon it depends. <sighs> How do I put it? Right. If you're, right, if you're constantly doing the same thing over and 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 over every time, you know, you're, you know, you're in the bedroom, you know, your partner, or even yourself, could get bored just doing the same thing over and over and over. Sometimes you've got to do something new uh, to keep things exciting. You've got to keep doing things a little different here and there. Maybe each time that you know you have sex with your partner, try and do something a little bit different. Even if it's just a little bit different, maybe something a, something a little bit different. That's, that's Like I said, this is just my opinion. Okay, I'm not an expert, but... Yeah, I reckon sometimes that it happens. I reckon sometimes partners they get they can't get off from one another because they're doing the same thing over and over and over, and they're not trying anything new or anything like that. 
So, with that being said, I reckon it depends. Because some of you might be saying, well, depends on what? Well, it depends, really, if, if your partner or yourself wants to try something different once in a while or it will try something different each time. You know, it's... Sex is a comp like I said, it's a complicated thing. It's a complicated thing. Cause I just I just believe that if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, you know, with your partner, uh it ain't gonna feel as good or it's not gonna feel as exciting and you and you feel like there's no spark left or there's no there's nothing there that was there before. So that's why I'm saying it depends. Okay, it really does depend. But let's go with that. In terms of pearl necklace sexual in meaning, got two answers. Nope, just a lovely piece of jewelry. Indeed, it is. Pearl necklace in sexual terms, it is a slang for something. Okay, just in case you guys don't know, pearl necklace, um, how do I explain it? It means uh, when you ejaculate around the chest area neck of your partner thus you know the the, the drops pearls you, you know what i mean it's it's that's basically what it means okay pearl necklace dots of ejaculation around the neck and chest okay think about it okay it's just <laughs> That's what it means. That's what it means. That's that's the sexual slang. Okay. I'm going with that. Indeed it is. Okay, here come the results. Here we go. Oh! High score! Really? I scored 164. You are a sex genius. High score. You are officially a sex genius. Your amazing knowledge must mean you are great in bed. High score, you're officially a sex genius. Your amazing knowledge must mean you are great in bed. <laughs> we are sure that you have a wild sex life and that your partner is a very lucky per person. But, I don't have a partner. Not yet that is. <laughs> Right guys, that's all there is for this video. Uh, thanks very much for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to try something different. Something quite different. I only did this for fun. This was just for fun. It doesn't mean anything, you know. So, anyway, yo, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my Twitter. Check out my Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys later on the next video. The Greek is out. Bye.